Hi everyone and welcome to Energy FC TV along with Mo Borum. I'm Jack Damrell. Well, it is finally upon us, the home opener for Energy FC, where tonight they will take on Orlando City in the home opener beginning tonight at 7 o'clock. And Mo, let's uh, go back real quick to FC Dallas. A disappointing loss for this uh, club against Dallas, but still, despite the injuries and all the sickness, they played quite well. Oh, I thought they played exceptionally well, not just quite well, Jack, to be fair. I thought they, uh, they, 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 they were in the game all the time. Um, you know, everyone's going to say, oh yeah, we missed a penalty in the last minute, but then what you've got to take on board is that they missed a penalty in the right. first half, or right. the keeper saved them mm -hmm. both times. Mm -hmm. um, I do think, though, tomorrow night's going to be a, 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 a different game. You know, again, we're, they're playing a, an MLS team mm -hmm. and their quality. In the last game, I like how a couple of uh, uh, kids, I guess I'll call them, uh, grew up. David Lichty, who, who really uh, uh, played very well in that game, and then you had some others who stepped up as well. I think that uh, what it showed is that we have got a strong squad. Mm -hmm. I think that certainly showed that. I mean, you know, you, you, you and I both were in the hotel and they were going down like nine pins. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, and I'm thinking, oh, we're never going to get anywhere here. And we went out there and, and battled all the time, competed. And it just shows you how strong and how, how quality, how much quality is in the, in the squad. I thought it was exceptional. As a coach, there's a lot of excitement, of course, built up around this game. The, the players, the coaches have been out in the community uh, talking to people, making appearances. How do you balance uh, between these appearances and also getting your team game ready for, for tonight? I think that it's, uh, it's giving the players a high. I think that the players are loving the fact that the, everybody is rooting for them and they know that I know this sounds an old cliche, but Oklahoma is behind them. Mm -hmm. I think that's great. You know, I mean, I was I took two little groups last night, and 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 all they wanted to talk about was the game tonight, mm -hmm. uh, tomorrow. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's a great. I think it's. I think the players are going to really rise to it. And the atmosphere here at the stadium. You know, they're they're setting up to uh, right now before the game. Over 4,100 people, almost 4,500 people in attendance. This should be loud, and it should be a great atmosphere. Yeah, it should be. It should be brilliant. I mean, uh, when you when you're looking at, we've been to four away games, mm -hmm. and uh, I think the highest was 2,700. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, Orange County, I believe, and, uh, and and we've got four and a half thousand, and we're in Oklahoma, and uh, you know, California is supposed to be the mecca mm -hmm. of soccer. I'm, I, I was talking to a guy the other night, and he said to me, uh, he's got three friends that are travelling down from Muskogee. Huh. I mean, it's 150 miles. They're yeah. doing a two and a half hour journey down, and they've got season tickets. Wow. So that's great. I mean, the interest, not just in Oklahoma City, mm -hmm. but in Oklahoma, is phenomenal. Let's talk about Orlando a little bit. You've already mentioned a little bit. They're, they're the defending USL champions from last year. They won three of the last four. Uh, they're also affiliated with Sporting Kansas City. Some familiarity with some of the players, but they have a pretty good offense, especially a guy by the name of Kevin Molina. Yeah, they've got they've got a very, very good side. Uh, Adrian Heath, mm -hmm. who uh, used to manage at, uh, at Sunderland and mm -hmm. Sheffield United as well. Um, you know, he's, he's, he's gathered together a, a good squad over, over a two-year almost two and a half year period mm -hmm. and and he's got together some good players some very good players in fact we played against one last week yeah. at, uh, at Dallas yeah and they'll probably be out there tomorrow night and he looked a quality player so if, if he's one of the lesser players I'm sure that there's going to be some good players there. Also uh, in, in tonight's game uh, we're going to see someone new Kevin Ellis is down from Kansas City don't know much about him but he also joins a team they're a little banged up uh, uh, Christian Duke won't play um, Paul Wyatt won't play so still some injuries that they have to battle through. Yeah uh, they were they, when they were trying I spoke to Philip, and Philip was hopeful that he'd, that he'd play, but whether or not he's got through a fitness test, I don't know. But I, yeah, I know Duke is out. Um, Paul's out, going to be out for a couple of weeks. So they're still struggling a little bit with the thing. But again, you know, with the depth of the of the squad that Jimmy's got together, mm -hmm. I think they'll, they'll do okay. But I think it'll be a very, very difficult game for them. Well, it should be fun tonight, shouldn't it? Yeah, I'm really looking forward to it, yeah. All right, well, gates open here at the stadium at 5.30. You can catch the game on YouTube, streaming live as well, beginning at 7 o'clock. Also, you can catch the game on KXY. Our broadcast will begin at 6.30. For Mo Borm, I'm Jack Damrell. Thanks for watching Energy FC TV. We'll see you tonight.